The Global Hawk is a revolutionary aircraft. It can fly to 65,000 feet, twice as high as a commercial airliner. It will fly for over 30 hours, and it will fly nearly 12,000 miles. So it has enormous range, endurance, and altitude. It's revolutionary for science. The Global Hawk is a fantastic platform because it expands our ability to sample the atmosphere. It has a larger range than any other aircraft. It can carry a very respectable payload, close to a thousand pounds. It can be operated remotely from a location like Dryden and allow us to reach remote regions like the Pacific on these 30, up to 30 hour flights. So there are really two main goals of the GLOPAC mission. First is to demonstrate the Global Hawk for Earth science. And that means take it out on flight paths that are appropriate for the airplane with a scientific payload. And the second goal would be to use that scientific payload to collect scientific data from regions of the atmosphere that only the Global Hawk can reach. The Global Hawk suite of instruments, there's 10 instruments from other NASA centers, from NOAA, from universities. They've been measuring gases that show ozone depletion. They show some little tiny particles they measure, what are called aerosols, that influence the stratosphere. So we're collecting some really nice information about ozone depletion. We're also measuring gases that are climate related, greenhouse gases. And we're accumulating some very interesting information about these climate and ozone depleting substances. The Global Hawk's a very powerful platform because it can go to remote regions uh, of the Earth and stay there for perhaps an extended period of time. So from NASA Dryden on the west coast of the U.S., we can range well out into the Pacific, well past Hawaii, for example, as well as go down to the equator and up to mid and higher latitudes. This is a capability that no manned aircraft can provide us.